7 Reasons Why Yemi Elade is a music video icon. Click subscribe Africa Social Television. Dennis the Business is my name. Straight up, we go to number 7. Now, let's look at Yemi Elade's upstaging collaborators. Even the ever flaving flavor, that is Mr. Flavor, is subdued by Elade's a consistency in the video of Kong Kong, which was directed by Clarence Peters. Azofino in Taking Over You, which was directed by Justin Compass. Now, both Flavor and Fino, more than hack other collaborators, have the distinct screen personalities, which also Yemi Elade has. Now, let's go to the band Desiree, What Do I Mean? We are looking at Yemi Elade's quality uh, of the vague and the specific imposing or fleeting in her videos. Now, it is evident in how she obviously grinds in most of her videos, despite most notably in Sugar which was directed by Paul Gambit, in which she paired with a furious athletic dancer and obviously she posed well with her and also holds a bat in Kofi Annan. Now, this sexuality charged way she mimics stirring the soup in Flurry, look at her glamour and the mock life performance in her trobe. What did we go to reason number five? Let's look at Yemi Alade's culture blends. Now, Yemi has been very careful in symphoning from other dominant Afropop markets, most convincingly with the reels of Mama Africa, which is the 2017 album, largely a reworking of hit songs from her third album, Mama Africa, which is also a 2017 album, this time in French and Portuguese. Obviously, we have to say that is hard work, and that is reason number five that Yemi Alade does culture blends in her songs. And number four, let's look at the theater, uh, theatricality of uh, her videos. Now, when you look at the video like Fillory of Yemi Elade, which was directed by Dr. Clarence Peters, oh, director Clarence Peters is a coherent assembly of over-the-top acting, which is also beautiful. And it has the dance and the sequences over there that is efficient of the storytelling and an improvement of the romance in Johnny which was helped by the production of DJ Koblon, whose use of live instrumentation is Alade's strongest suit. And number three, we look at Yemi Alade's choreography. Now, her choreography is tightly sequenced, which is now given in a Yemi Alade video, each one just as flawlessly in the nimbo, the next. As if, with more than enough dance moves to spare, we look at Pause, which was directed by Paul Gambit, with R2Bs comes in pairs of one, which is Maguez as a dizzying array of moves, each one describing a lyric emphasizing a wide and beat loop in a song, Coffee and Anne. Let's look at reason number two, Yemi Alade's costumes. I, for one, I say, wow. Now, the costume dancers are and the music videos affording them an eye-pleasing uniformity, even when in their artists. The chase of the clothing and ladies' videos are frequently impressive, as are many Afropo videos, frankly, but specific items and combinations bring the glamour to her videos. Let's look at the video, or oh, the reason number one, why Yemi Alade obviously rocks her videos. We look at the numbers that these videos do bring in. Mm -hmm. Released in March 2014, the video of Johnny, which was directed by Clarence Peters, is approaching almost 95 million views on YouTube or beyond. Now, the highest yet by any Nigerian artist and only trailed by Personally, which was done by the pair P-Square which was about 85 million views on YouTube by the time of going on to print. For now, it could have increased. Now, do yourselves a favor and click subscribe to Africa Social Television because I've given you the reasons why Yemi Elade is a music video icon. Then it's the business for Africa Social TV as always.